Hi, this is Jeff and Kane, and Jeff and I are uh, seminar leaders, transformational business psychology leaders, and executive coaches, and we have the distinctive honor uh, to be with the infamous uh, Frank Kern, one of the top, not even one of the top uh, direct response internet marketing consultant in the world. It's an honor and a privilege to be here with you, Frank. Thanks, man. And uh, yeah. we appreciate it. Um, we we want to give you guys an opportunity to hear some of Frank's thoughts on, you know, what is it that uh, are the top mistakes that entrepreneurs make when acquiring customers? And you know, just uh, you know, share some of your thoughts with us. What do you think is some of the biggest mistakes uh, entrepreneurs and small business owners make in acquiring customers? Well, the, the I think the first mistake is that they don't have a clear understanding of exactly how business really works. So there's there's four phases, and hopefully I can remember. It. I usually have to write this down, you know. So uh, phase one is, is to get leads. Phase two is to turn those leads into customers. Phase three is to deliver on the big mouth promises you made when you were mm -hmm. turning them into customers. Mm -hmm. Phase four is to get those customers to send you more leads. So it's yeah. a big circle of, of awesomeness, really. So first of all, no one really thinks that out. They just say, okay, I've got a business now and a new identity. I'm now the pool guy or, you know, I'm now a consultant to uh, massage therapists or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and they go get a, a glossy business card made and they just sit around and they say, okay, well, Come on in, you know, I've got a business and I have a business license and everything, but there, there's no customers. So the first thing is they don't understand that, that the acquisition of customers requires a formulaic, concentrated, strategic effort, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and then, so there's, that's problem A. And problem B is when they, they finally do realize, oh my gosh, I've got to do something to get customers, they do what everybody else does, which is to make a pretty brochure mm -hmm. or something or, yes. or stick a flyer on the Winn-Dixie Court board thing, you know what I mean? Right, and they're right, like, okay, right. this, and then they sit around, and yeah. or they'll, you know, they'll wait for the first salesperson that comes into their office selling them advertising, and they'll go, okay, and they'll buy it without really strategically thinking about the function of the marketing. So, if I were to advise somebody, I would say, well, you know, listen, you need to whatever you you're doing needs to specifically be geared towards the generation of a measurable response, mm -hmm. and what that means is never create. Never create an ad or a flyer or, or a piece of promotional material that doesn't specifically ask the viewer or reader to do something. Right. So what would be bad, say, if it was you guys advertising, I know you don't do this, but what would be like a, a bad example of what most people do is if these guys created a brochure or a television commercial or whatever yeah. that said, like, Jeff and Kane. Leading thought experts are for American small businesses, serving yes. American small businesses Cancel for a long time. Okay, we're, we're and then that, that would be it. Okay. So that's what everybody else does. And then have a picture of you guys and the flags behind you. And you, we're normal. With an American flag and a bald eagle on our shoulder.